Hey everyone, there's some big news coming from the tech world. Meta AI has just unveiled Llama 2 a few weeks ago, the newest member of its groundbreaking AI models. And believe me, it's a game changer. Llama 2 isn't just another trophy AI to display. It's been crafted to drive a myriad of groundbreaking applications, from the likes of OpenAI's ChatGPT to Bing Chat. It's looking promising. And today, we're diving deep into its capabilities and how you can use it. So where does the genius of Llama 2 come from? Well, it's been fed from a vast array of publicly available data, ensuring its training is both diverse and extensive. With this upgrade, Llama 2 doesn't just take a mere step forward, it leaps miles ahead into the future of AI interaction. Remember its predecessor, Llama? It made waves with its ability to generate text and code, but there was a catch. It was limited in its ability, making it a rare gem among AI enthusiasts. Llama 2, however, is breaking those chains. It's gearing up to be more accessible and versatile. Whether you're on AWS, Azure, or even the Hugging Faces AI model platform, Llama 2 is ready to deliver. Now, if you're itching to give Llama 2 a spin, I've got some good news. You can try out a demo version right now on Hugging Face. Just head to the link huggingface.co forward slash blog forward slash Llama 2. And if you're wondering what's Hugging Face, well, it's a company renowned for crafting tools to build ML applications, most notably their Transformers library for NLP tasks. By following the given link in the description, you can jump right into the live demo. Whether it's a simple question like, what's the capital of France? Or something more elaborate like crafting a 21-day diet plan, Llama 2's got you covered. But here's the million dollar question, how does Llama 2 square up against giants like GPT-4? While it might not be a completely fair comparison, since we're looking at a demo version, running the same prompts on both can provide intriguing insights into their nuances and capabilities. The biggest catch here is not just these demo interfaces. Meta has outsourced Llama. You can literally go their website, read their secret research paper, and even download the model directly onto your machines or servers. What does this mean? If you want to use AI models behind ChatGPT into your own application, you have to make API calls from your code to OpenAI's APIs which can cost you anywhere between hundreds to thousands to even millions of dollars per month depending on use case of your application. You pay for every single time you call the OpenAI APIs. With Facebook outsourcing Llama 2, you can literally have this model sit in your local machine or your application servers, and your applications can call it millions of times to get results 100% free. This means that instead of using OpenAI's APIs, you can now use Llama 2 Two, to have similar level of generative AI capabilities in your own business applications. This does not stop here. You can even further fine tune Llama 2 for your own needs. What this means, you can give it your own business or company data and it will tune the model to now serve and reply to your own business questions and can give your customers a more delightful experience. Open sourcing Llama 2 has been the biggest game changer in the AI industry since the launch ChatGPT earlier this year. It's undeniable that Meta's commitment to AI research is unmatched. Their strategy of open sourcing many models contrasts starkly with OpenAI's business approach. But they're not just about open source generosity. Their recent research paper on Llama 2 reveals intricate details although not enough to replicate their exact training methods. Llama 2 is already getting high marks from the open source community for its performance and flexibility. The base model seems very strong beyond GPT-3, and the fine-tuned chat models seem on the same level as ChatGPT. Hugging Face machine learning scientist Nathan Lambert wrote in a blog post Tuesday, it is a huge leap forward for open source and a huge blow to the closed source providers as using this model will offer way more customizability and way lower cost for most companies. However, some have pointed out that Llama may not yet be a challenger to OpenAI's models in all areas. Coding, for instance. On human eval, standard coding benchmark, it isn't nearly as good as StarCoder or many other models specifically designed for coding, tweets NVIDIA senior AI scientist Jim Fan. That being said, I have little doubt that Llama 2 will improve significantly. Meta's growing rapport with Microsoft is also reshaping the AI landscape, with Llama 2 being integrated seamlessly with Azure. But fret not, if Azure isn't your playground, Llama 2 will also find a home on AWS, Hugging Face, and many other platforms. 
To top it all, Meta's recent announcement on their new text-to-image model, Chameleon, hints at their ambitious plans to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against industry giants like OpenAI and Google. That's a wrap for today. If you're as excited about Llama 2 as I am, drop a comment below and share your thoughts. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more tech insights and updates. Until next time, keep exploring the limitless world of AI.